Hey guys, welcome back to my channel C4 Diwala and in today's video we are going to create this rolling looping animation inside of Cinema 4D without using any third party plugin and if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses links are available in the description and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any much more time let's get started. So here we are in Cinema 4D. Now first thing first we need one spline so it will get animated. So for that I am going to select this circle and let's make this ZY or XY uh, I mean XZ. After that we will go to the deformers and we are going to search for twist deformer. So simply bring this twist and now we will make it apparent with this circle. Okay like that. Now let's select this twist and let's make this angle 180 degree. Okay or let's say initially 90 degree just okay and let's make this alignment plus z or let's say plus y only uh, right now and let's select this press r and by holding shift i'm going to rotate it on minus 90 degree so now if you see this from the top we are getting something like that let's select this twist and let's make this angle 180 degree so uh, if you see this now we are getting this kind of shape now select this twist and let's try to increase this value on this so as you guys can see we are getting this kind of structure let's increase this value until we are gonna get proper this kind of structure i think this looks good to me after that uh, what we need to do let's select this and by holding shift select this twist simply right click and go to this current state to object okay so now we will get this object over here now let's select this two uh, and by holding alt i'm going to click on these two icons so now we have this circle over here like that if you go to the fourth view we are going to get something like this now press t which is a shortcut key for scaling and we are going to scale it somewhere around like this by holding shift i'll make it proper zero on right view okay so we are gonna get this kind of spline let's select this uh, and uh, over here right now it's adaptive let's make this uniform and you can increase the numbers or uh, you can change this to natural as well or instead of linear you can choose b spline as well so you will get proper spline after that uh, let's select this and by holding control create another one and let's call it as path okay this one is going to be for my animation now we don't need this circle and this twist so simply delete that okay now we will add one cylinder so let's bring our cylinder and press nd on your keyboard so we can see edges and vertices let's uh, reduce the radius to somewhere around 25 and uh, rotational segment let's make this 31 and uh, height segments uh, let's make this 40 just for now after that again go to the deformance options and now we are going to search for spline warp over here which is this one and make it apparent with this cylinder now go to the spline warp and we are going to bring this circle to the spline and let's make this plus y so we are getting this kind of spline now let's reduce this two value to somewhere up to let's say 40 or uh, let's say 30 like that okay go to the top view and change this offset value somewhere up to this okay i think this is too much so let's make this 40 let's adjust it like that okay offset value is 5 now let's select this cylinder and by holding control bring this at the top now select this spline uh, and now if you want then you can change this value or you can change this offset value like that so like somewhere around like this okay so now if you see we have this two kind of structures now after that let's select this and this right click and choose connect object plus delete similarly select this and this right click and choose connect object plus delete okay after that let's select this and go to the right view select this polygons go to the rectangle selection and let's select this much portion and we will simply delete this portion like that same thing i'm going to follow for this one as well let's select this cylinder select this much area and we will delete those structure like that hit ctrl a 
or uh, right now let's select this uh, and select your live selection tool and now press ul which is a shortcut key for loop selection select this area and delete similarly select this portion and delete same thing we will select this select this portion delete select this portion and delete select those points hit ctrl a right click and we are going to choose optimize similarly select this hit ctrl a right click and we are going to choose optimize okay this looks good to me like that so now let's select the cylinder select this polygons hit ctrl a press d for extrude and let's extrude this outwards like that and enable this create caps similarly select the cylinder hit ctrl a press d and let's extrude this outwards and make sure to create caps okay like that okay uh, if you want then adjust it a little bit more okay this looks good to me okay so this portion is ready now press n e i mean 9 e so you can see your selection tool again now this is uh, done uh, now we don't need this circle so let's delete that we only need this is path now we need to create some portion for animation so for that i'm going to select my uh, spare and let's choose segments 31 and radius 25 uh, or let's make this 20 something and press c to make this object editable go to the top view and select the polygons and choose rectangle selection select this half portion uh, like that i mean this half selection double click to create one material and apply this material to this then press u i for invert selection again double click and create another material and choose black and let's uh, apply to this like that so we are gonna get this kind of ball structure then after that simply go over here and we will bring one null object and we will select the sphere and move inside this null now select this null right click and we are going to search for animation tag and we are going to choose align to spline now in align to spline we are going to bring this path over here like that okay now uh, let's uh, select this align to spline and if you increase this position we are gonna get this kind of animation okay like that so now uh, let's try to do that and bring this tangential okay like that now we need to animate it so what we can do uh, let's create one keyframe at position and go somewhere around let's say 120 you can increase the duration it's totally up to you i'm going to make this 100 create one keyframe okay then select this right click animation and show f curve and choose linear okay so now if you see this we are gonna get this kind of structure over here like that okay if you see this we will get this animation like that now uh, along with that we need animation uh, for this rotation over here so how we can do that first of all let's go over here uh, and let's make this y or something or x something like that we will get something like this okay i think x axis should be x and now i can animate that so let's select this and go to the coordinates and we have to rotate it on i think z axis like that so let's create one keyframe over here go to the last frame let's make this 360 into 8 create one keyframe right click animation show f curve hit ctrl a and choose linear okay so as you guys can see we are getting this kind of rotating animation over here like that so okay so this is done now after that we need to create certain things so let's try to do that but first we need to create our camera so let's go to the camera and bring our camera camera enable this camera go to the object and let's choose parallel view like that and let's uh, adjust this portion like this over here okay so if you hit play we are gonna get something like this now uh, let's uh, this not disable but uh, we will add one plane like that and go to the this view and let's try to bring this over here like that okay also increase the size from here and increase the size from here 
and uh, let's select this camera and press shift c for search option and search for protection tag and simply double click to apply to this camera so now the position is not going to change okay and now we can create certain things over here first of all we need handles for this so let's for that i'm going to bring one cylinder and let's try to adjust it uh, for that uh, let's bring this portion a little bit over here and i'm going to bring this handle over here let's increase the size of it let's try to bring this over here okay and by holding control bring this one over here then select this two by holding control bring this over here similarly select this by holding control bring this over here by holding control bring one line over here like that so we are getting this kind of handles okay like that so over here now what we can do another thing over here is that uh, i can create one null object i can select this camera and move inside this null object then i can select this null object i can go to the coordinates and i can rotate this null object like this okay so let's make this zero let's uh, remove this protection tag a little bit and we will zoom out our camera then apply this to protection tag again then select this camera and now i can rotate this camera like this okay so let's create one keyframe at the start and at the end over here i'm going to rotate this camera to 360 degree and create another keyframe then right click animation and show f curve hit ctrl a and choose linear value like that so now if you hit play along with this we are gonna get this kind of stuff over here like that if you think that animation is quite fast so what you can do you can bring this value to 270 for example and all you need to do is simply select this null object i mean this align to spline path and bring this last keyframe to 270 similarly select this pair and select this rotation keyframe to 270 similarly select this null object and still bring this keyframe to 270 like that so what will happen we will get this animation but animation will be a little bit slower like that so because of this what will happen that our animation will be gonna be in the form of loop and it will look a little bit nicer as well okay now after that there should be uh, some thing over here that is going to you know run this animation so for that what i'm gonna do over here is that uh, i'm going to bring my cylinder again and this time i'm going to reduce the size of this cylinder along with that i'll press r for rotation and let's rotate it till 90 degree like that and let's rotate it like this okay and let's bring this over here like that press e and let's try to bring this over here by holding control bring this over here like that okay similarly uh, let's select this two and by holding control bring them at the bottom not by holding control but simply bring them at the bottom like that okay let's try to adjust it properly like this okay i think this looks good to me then select this cylinder and by holding control create duplicate press r for rotation and let's rotate it somewhere around like this and let's rotate it like that press e and try to bring this over here press r and let's rotate it like that okay over here okay this looks good to me then again i'm going to bring one not cube but cylinder again and then let's rotate it like that not rotate but bring this size downwards and try to adjust it over here and let's try to adjust it over here like this now let's select this this and this should be in one form so i'm going to select all of them and by holding alt g i'm going to bring all of them into one 
you know so null object and i can rotate this uh, like that okay so initially it should be like this only zero then somewhere around at this point i'm going to create one keyframe over here then somewhere around at 120 over here i'm going to rotate it somewhere around like this okay let's go to the, over here like that and create another keyframe so it will go over here like that and at this point i'm going to create one keyframe then at this point this value should be zero and create another keyframe let's try to adjust it like that and now if i see this animation i'll get this and then i'm gonna get this animation and this portion is gonna be continuously in the form of loop and now all i need to do is i need to add lights and materials and i'm going to bring a normal uh, lights and normal materials to it just i'm going to increase the size of this and but before that let's add our light so i'm going to choose area light as always increase the size of this lights and let's bring one light over here press e and let's bring this over here press r rotate it like this and rotate it like that let's bring this over here select this light go to the general settings and uh, make sure to shadows choose area okay and hit ctrl r and let's see we are getting something like that okay then select this light by holding ctrl bring one light over here press r w r and w for world origins and bring this over here select these two lights press e by holding ctrl bring them over here press r and let's rotate it like that okay now if you hit ctrl r uh, over here hit ctrl r we are gonna get this kind of lights and materials you can apply this black material to this downward portion over here like that similarly you can apply this material to this as well as this material to this okay so we will get this kind of structure you can apply this white material to this as well bottom one okay and this animation is gonna be continuously in the form of loop like this okay over here let's apply one white material to this similarly this portion should be in black color and this one portion should be like that okay like this let's apply white color to this i mean black color to this portions okay like that so yep this is how you can create this kind of looping animation